in this season, many of you need to ask God to deliver you from people bondage. You need to ask God to deliver you from the bondage of men, from the bondage of mankind, from the bondage of people. And the reason I say this is, is because most of you, because I used to do it, and I know that if I have experienced something, not saying everybody's issue is my issue, but I know there is a mass amount of people that has experienced or is experiencing the same thing. You know, you have to ask God to deliver you from people bondage because you cannot do what it is that God has put in you to do. You will not do it. You cannot do it. Because most of you, you are with people and you are around people where you feel like you have to dumb yourself down. You feel like you can't be yourself because they're going to have something to say. And if they have something to say about you being who you are, you're in bondage. If you're always considering what other people are going to think, what they're going to say, what they're going to do, because you've decided to be bold and take that leap of faith and do what God is calling you to do because you have decided to be bold and do that and they have a problem with it. That's not your problem. That's their problem. You're in people bondage. You're in people bondage when you can't be yourself. You can't express yourself. You just can't be who you are because you're so busy trying to be the projection that they're projecting you to be. People are projecting how they want you to be. And you're confused about why you're not doing what it is that you feel you should do and how you should be. Because you're in bondage. When you are in bondage, you consider everybody else's needs you consider their feelings. You consider what they're going to think because you decide to do something that you desire. You're not harming anyone. You're just deciding to be great. You're deciding to do and be all you could be. You're not doing anything to harm anyone. If you have to sit and think about not doing something, that is not going to cause anyone harm. That is, is only going to make you great. It's only going to bring forth joy to you. And if you got to think about who it's going to affect. And you already know the people. If you decide to be your true self. If you decide to bring forth your greatness. You already know the people who you already know some people around you who are not going to like it. And this is how you know you are in people bondage because you already know that these people around you don't want you to be great. These people around you will have something to say because you finally took the leap to do what it is that God has called you to do. You finally took the leap to say, you know what? I'm going to be the best version of myself. And you're not doing anything to show someone up or to one up someone. You're only trying to fulfill the desire you have in you. You, you know you're in people bondage when you, you are already thinking. If I do this, they're going to say this. If I, you know, create this, they're going to. If you got this thinking, you're in people bondage. You need deliverance.